The elliptical orbit of Mars has quite an effect on its seasons. In the north, when the sun is closest, winter is short and mild. Summer, when the sun is farthest, is long and cool. The north has moderate seasons. In the south, they're more extreme. When the sun is more distant, southern winters are long and bitterly cold. Southern summers are short and relatively warm when the sun is closest. Mars looks like a dusty desert, but why is it red? That is from the iron oxide. These are trails of dust devils, whirlwinds whipped from particles finer even than talcum powder. Major dust storms can last weeks and blanket the planet. Since life depends on it, evidence of water remains the great quest on Mars. Here, grooves run down the slopes of a great valley. They're recent clues, possibly, of short-lived cascades released from an exposed layer of rock just beneath the clifftop. With water the objective, an American probe, Mars Odyssey, slots into Martian orbit. The mission is to scan the planet for signs of water ice just beneath the surface. Penetrated by cosmic rays from space, the surface throws out gamma rays and neutrons. They reveal subsurface elements. If there's hydrogen, it signals water, water locked up as ice. Sensing hydrogen and revealed in dark blue, Mars Odyssey has detected vast reservoirs of underground ice, especially around the poles.